When the oceans roll and thunders roll, I will soar with you above. Father, you are king over the storms. Here's your part. That I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you. When the oceans and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the sky. Father, you are king over the storms. And I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you I will be still. I will be still. Oh, receive it as a prophecy to your life. I will be still and know you. I will be still. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you. Just the voices. I will be still. I will be still and know you. I will be still. I will be still and know you. So you can look at your rent, eyeball to eyeball. You can look at your child in the ICU. And with the pain in your heart you can look at your health and the medical diagnosis that you have cancer and you are about to go and you can sing this song not to an audience you sing a song where you are the minister and you are the audience yourself there are times you need to be the prophet of your destiny ladies and gentlemen please hear me you need to summon courage tonight Father, you are king over the storms. I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Jesus wept. It is not inhuman to cry. It is not lack of spirituality to cry. Hmm. Be still and know you are God. I'm not singing, I'm ministering to you. Be still and know you are God. Listen to me. When Satan wants to destroy you, he will isolate you and magnify everything around you so that you no longer see the faithfulness of God. All you see are mountains around. All you see is the situation or that, that seems to negate what God has said. Hear me! I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. Be strong. Be strong. There is something called the life of an overcomer. You can stand and look at everything. Young man, will you be able to rise one day and take care of mama? I may not be able to show you any result right now. I don't have much to say. Let my future do the speaking. I will be still and know you. I will be still and know you. Hear me. I want you to find strength in the love of God. A Christian is not just one who goes to church. A believer is one who is so jealously loved by the God of heaven. Look beyond your challenges. Please hear me believers. I'm ministering to you by the spirit. No matter what the pain is. Look beyond it. And look at Jesus. Don't just look at him as the powerful God. You need to look at him as father. Lord I know that you love me. Your jealousy has been so invested in my life. This I believe. 
there are people going through all kinds of storms right now listen to me though i walk through the valley glow i'll fear no evil by the water still my soul my heart will trust in you my heart will trust in you listen to what i'm saying this is not a special number my heart will trust in you Lord my heart will trust in you apostle you're only speaking now because you have food to eat at home as I'm sitting right now I have three children four children I do not even know how they are going to eat after service can I minister to you find strength it always does not look like it this is what makes you an overcomer there is no gift of overcoming no overcoming is not a gift he that overcomes he says that you will be given a white stone you will be given a name on that stone you will be given a a mystery manner that provides strength notice what he does the first thing he does to the overcomer is he strengthens you by giving you manna that gives you strength there is always a word from god that makes you an overcomer the revelation the bible says in romans chapter 8 and verse 28 we read it that all things not some things please listen to me it is not unusual for you to cry you will find many instances in your life where you have to cry cry with your children cry with your company you know after the pandemic last year believe me without exaggeration there were many people who retired from ministry and said I'm tired with this serving God I cannot serve God like this and have my children beg for bread I hang my boots Lord just know that I'm born again but as far as serving you is concerned discouragement how about those who lost their jobs some of you here looking at me how about those who have gone through all kinds of tragedy you started this year with joy not knowing that you will have a reason to cry and now from bereavements to disappointments to pain when you know that he loves you you can find strength because perfect love has a unique ability to cast out fear if you know that he loves you you can find strength listen to me brothers and sisters do not let the devil use your challenges to interpret the love of god no no satan is a master of the flesh realm he can use everything happening to you and make you think is this how love acts I thought the Bible says love gives where is the giving financially where is the giving maritally where is the giving in terms of fruitfulness where is the giving in terms of politics find strength dear ones there is the revelation of the love of God that he who began a good work in me He who began a good work in me. Oh, that's a prophetic word to someone. He'll be faithful to complete it. Ah. He'll be faithful to complete it. He who started the work he'll be faithful to complete it hear me the same energy it takes to continue is the same energy it takes to go back you must make up your mind whether you go back or go forward is the same energy you will dissipate 
make up your mind that i will take that leap of faith even if it means to walk on water that if i perish let it be that i perish at his word number two let's hurry up we need to pray ah my spirit is fired up i know that god is ministering very deeply to people in this place allow him heal those wounds and bring you a life of victory number two what is the second key that grants us the grace to live as overcomers in spite of challenges are you ready the second is the power of the word particularly the administration of comfort that comes with scripture the power of the word engage the power engage the word the bible brings us comfort romans chapter 15 and verse 4 scripture can bring comfort to the believer for whatsoever things were written aforetime let's look at a few things that were written aforetime abraham waited 25 years he still had a child written aforetime job went through all kinds of things you would look at job and think his end had come but at the end of his life he had twice everything that he lost written aforetime what else was written aforetime a young shepherd that looked like he had a destiny without color and without dignity serving sincerely but remaining a mediocre now exalted to become king written aforetime the arrogance of kings outside of god and they were brought down to their knees written aforetime the bible says whatsoever things were written aforetime they says they were written to make us students why so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope hmm. so every time i open my bible and i read through these stories i read that once upon a time the nation of israel stood before the red sea in front of them the egyptians coming with fierce anger behind them and god still came as a deliverer written aforetime to make me a student that god is able to save to the uttermost are we together that once upon a time humans not a parable they were so hungry on earth manna came not grains that they had to prepare angels bread came written aforetime once upon a time the land of samaria was ravaged with hunger in 24 hours god turned their lives around written aforetime to make me a student one time paul and silas were jailed bound hand and feet the bible says at midnight they prayed they sang aloud and everybody heard them suddenly the mighty deliverer came There is nothing that is new under the sun. There are people who started from ground and God lifted them up. There are people in ministry. There are people in business. There are people in career. Listen to me, gentlemen and ladies, believers, people of God. Koinonia, the body of Christ. God is speaking to us. Whenever you go through situations that look challenging, that is not the time to run away from scripture. That is the time to stay true to the word of God. psalms 119 verse 28 psalms 119 and verse 28 shilano skati branda kazuzi atakata it says my soul melted for heaviness strengthen thou me according unto thy word my soul is melting oh god overwhelmed by the challenges and the vicissitudes of life not knowing where to go left or right not knowing how to manage my life in light of all of these things when you look at the things happening across our nation africa these things look discouraging it looks like you should just run away and people are committing suicide people are swallowing all kinds of things to just die in their sleep it says my soul melted for heaviness strengthen thou me 
according unto thy word the word of god is a comforter and the word of god is a strengthener because you see the dynamics is this the power of god only follows what he says if god has not said it it is illegal for his power to come to the scene so the word of god is a compendium of what he has said when you find what he has said you can be sure his power is following what he has said are we together genesis chapter 21 from verse 1 and 2 the bible says and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken if he says it if he speaks it he will do it for sarah conceived that is a testimony and bear abraham a son in his old age it says at the set time which god had spoken so you need to draw strength from scripture scriptures like yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death the bible says i fear no evil why for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me he says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies that you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over the lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall i be afraid of these are scriptures that must comfort you at these times if it's a bereavement you must comfort yourself that the bible says one day there will be the sound of the archangel and that those who are dead in christ will arise first and we who are alive and remain remain where in him we will be caught to meet to to, to meet them in the air and then happily after rejoicing with jesus it says i know my redeemer leave it let the weak say i am strong let the poor say i am rich let the depressed say i am encouraged and strengthened by the power of god most believers are not students of scripture and so when these seasons come there is no legitimate way to draw strength in fact for most people they do not know how to draw strength from scripture at best they draw strength from respectfully speaking maybe movies or visitations from people but most believers do not know how to sit down with the word and draw strength from it you can draw strength from the word ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2 the bible says he said unto me son of man stand up upon your feet and i will speak unto thee and the bible says it did not have that strength but from that word the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that i heard him that spake unto me you must learn to draw strength from scripture as we conclude this enlightening sermon by apostle joshua selman let the depth of knowledge shared today be a catalyst of your ongoing educational journey apply the principles of wisdom understanding and divine insight in your pursuit of knowledge remember ed education is not merely about information but a transformation of the mind and spirit carry the touch of learning into your studies professions and daily life may you continually grow in wisdom and impart your spheres of influence positively go forth empowered to be a beacon of knowledge and light and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so you can be the first to get our video god bless you see you in the next